question for you. Uh, there are some reasonably good uh, certifications for individuals for pen testing. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the CEH, but the OSCP is a pretty good assessment. Um, how come you guys chose to develop your own uh, sort of individual certification program? Um, so so Crest has been around for 12 years. And, um, and at the time, there wasn't really um, very much else apart from some of some of the uh, courses from SANS and then the, some of the things from EC Council, particularly CEH. Mm -hmm. I think over that period of time, if you take, for example, EC Council, then they've got their ECSA. Um, mm -hmm. That is a qualification significantly above a CEH. Even I right. could pass a CEH and, and you really <laughs> wouldn't put me as being <laughs> Um, but the ECSA was, was based on the syllabus that we developed for our practitioner level examination. And mm -hmm. what we have is an international uh, mutual agreement uh, but between ourselves and them in terms mm -hmm. of that. And then if you look at the next step up, they've got their licensed penetration tester. So, so what they're doing is they're combining training with, with the certification, which, which we think is a, is a good plan. Crest doesn't run training because mm -hmm. we are a certification body in, in the individual space. Um, but we are trying to build those relationships so it's clear to organisations and individuals what those qualifications mean. So CEH is an indication that you have some interest in the subject, um, that you can run some vulnerability analysis tools, uh, but it really doesn't demonstrate your capability as being a penetration tester. If you look at offensive security, then, then the, the, the primary two offensive security qualifications we really like. Um, mm -hmm. And, and again, we have a, a relationship with them where we do a recognition. So if you look at the um, offensive security ICP, um, then what you've got is you've got a really good practical examination. Um, it's reasonably well proctored. Um, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't look at some of the elements associated with actually doing the work. And so to get our registered level, what you'd have to do is do the offensive security. Then you'd have to sit our uh, multiple choice and long form. Um, elements rather than just doing the, the technical assessment. So what we're trying to do is to work with the major industry providers to provide both clarity in the marketplace, career pathways for individuals, and to make sure, again, the buying community is tying those things together by understanding what they're buying. I think the other really important thing is where we operate those equivalencies, um, we still underpin that by our effective and implementable codes of conduct and codes of ethics. So the company signs up to a code of ethics and so does the individual. So if there's ever a problem, um, then what we can do is Crest will do the investigation on behalf of the buying community. And I think in something as critical as that type of penetration testing, but incident response is the same, threat intelligence I think is the same, um, then to have that ability to have somebody who would do an investigation and support you if you have a problem, I think is really important.